Welcome to this week's Ask Charlie and thank you so much for your feedback on last week's video where we were talking about hats, coats and footwear for country living. Now I forgot two really really crucial things and that was gloves and scarves. When I actually was filming the video it was about 26 degrees so my mind wasn't completely in um, autumn winter wear um, as, as you could probably understand, but they were crucial and we forgot to talk about them. So I've just got a couple of pairs of gloves. I am big, big glove wearer. These ones are from John Lewis's and they are leather lined with um, cashmere and they are just beautiful. They're obviously, they're quite worn. Not hugely expensive. I've had these for four years, but they are just beautiful. And I have them in tan as well as um, navy and black leather. And then these, these are my everyday gardening um, horse dirty job gloves for outside. I do have a particular pair just for gardening and then for like horses and other stuff. Um, these I buy in Mole Online and they're Thermal Max which are excellent. I am yet to find a really good warm pair of gloves for the winter for outside. So I know Seal Skin do some good ones. I haven't found the perfect pair. So if you've got any ideas on really, really good quality, really warm, but usable gloves that you can do jobs in outside to keep your hands warm, please let me know because I haven't found the perfect pair yet. But gloves is very, very important. So um, sorry, I forgot those last week. And then scarves. This one I think I bought last year from Hush. I love that it's got a little bit of red and um, you know it's quite fun. It's quite animal printy, obviously <laughs> it's animal print, but it's just quite fun. I wouldn't wear it with this shirt because they clash. Some people love clashing, but I, in the winter, always have a scarf around my neck if I'm not wearing um, a roll neck. I hate it when my neck gets cold. It's my absolute sort of hatred in life. Then, um, a big like sort of pashmina always really handy i've got these in a few colors and there's a few different ways of tying them the classic one is sort of in half and then just looped through like that i spent um six months in nepal when i was i just left school i was 19 and i was teaching english the home of pashminas I mean, the nepalese quality is amazing and i actually bought quite a few back with me and this is one of them that's still going strong from all those years ago and i think you know if you buy good quality they will last um they will last a long time this needs a good iron and it needs to be folded it's been hung um and it's got a little bit wrinkly and then this one is from um, Jo's Vintage Cashmere. She made this and it I, I use it for the horses. So it has actually got little bits of hay on it. It's double sided and it's just a cashmere snood. And she recycles the cashmere and they are just so, so cosy, particularly on a horrid, chilly morning. You can have it up um, hide your face but just really really warm and snuggly and I'll actually wear a roll neck and one of these when the weather is bad so some essentials that I should have talked about last week but today we're going to talk um, about sort of everyday wear we're not going to get into like evening going out wear too much I might show you a couple of sort of slightly smarter options but what I wear every day living in the country I tend to live in jeans and I have got three pairs of these they're from frame and I just like the fit they're just really comfortable they go with everything and it might be boring but I love them so I tend to wear these all the time and I think what's super easy about them is because they're quite um they're not like painted on skinny but they are quite skinny I just find them really easy with boots and things like that. I can wear them with these boots. I can wear them with wellies. I can wear them with trainers. I can put a pair of heels on in the evening. And so they're just a really versatile jean that can take you from mucking out the horses 
to an evening out with your husband or the girls and so we're going to talk about different looks and how I do that and I live in shirts I love to wear my collar up my cuffs just kind of flowing loose I normally tuck in at the front and I normally leave the back just hanging out and that is the way I have always been um, I was like it at school, I would always have my collar up and I'd always have my shirt tail hanging out and I suppose that's sort of slightly the tiny, tiny rebellious side of me. But I just love a shirt and I find them really versatile. This one is from Beaufort and Blake and um, I find their shirts great quality and just really, really practical for living in, in the countryside. And, you know, again, you can just sort of throw a cardigan over throw a jumper and off you go. I'm gonna go and get um, a cardi and a jumper and show you a couple of different looks. So this one is from Beaufort and Blake and it is current. So there's a lot of things I'm gonna be sharing with you that aren't current, which I know is a bit annoying, but I can't, buy, I can't stretch to buy myself a whole new wardrobe. I just buy a few pieces um, each season if there's something that catches my eye and that I love. Anyway, this is a sleeveless roll neck, which I think is great for this time of year. I, it's quite nice having your arms free, you don't overheat. I like the fact that you can wear it with a shirt, you can have your collar poking up or you could tuck your shirt in and hide it away. And I just think it's a really great versatile knit. These seem to be um, quite on trend at the moment. There seems to be lots of people wearing sleeveless knits but I think this one is um, a great option for you. And then with the navy cardigan, this one's also from Beaufort and Blake, but from a couple of seasons ago. So I don't think they still have it in stock, but it's just a great, really use useful knit. It's washed really well and lasted really well. So um, I, love, I love that about it. And I know it might be a little bit boring wearing a shirt and a cardigan, but look, I'm not, I'm not some mega fashion, um, fashionista, I don't follow trends. I go with what I feel comfortable in and what is easy and practical for, for me to wear with my lifestyle. And yes, I love clothes and yes, I love feeling nice in my clothes. I like feeling good in what I'm wearing, but I'm not gonna follow trends. I'm not gonna go with things that are in fashion unless it's something that I think is going to you know stand the test of time and not be not look ridiculous if I'm wearing that in a year's time or whatever. I go with what I like and what I love and what I think suits me. And I know I do get comments with, oh, you know, Charlie, you're so lucky you can wear anything. I really can't. I've learned what suits me and what doesn't. There are things that I try on that look absolutely terrible. And it's about learning your shape learning your figure and learning what suits you best and what you're comfortable in and that is really important and if you are comfortable in the clothes that you're wearing then you will have a good day if you go say to a party or the office in something that you're not sure about and you're feeling a bit like mm, does this really work or it might be uncomfortable you're not going to have such a good day, if that makes sense. I've been to parties and I felt really out of place, really uncomfortable in what I'm wearing. And um, that isn't great. And I think, I think though, I have changed. I used to be really self-conscious. I used to worry about what people think. And actually, the older I've got, I'm now 43, I don't really give a monkey's what other people think. As long as I am enjoying what I'm wearing and I feel good in myself, then that is actually all that's important. So, um, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> ran over. But this, I've just got it with my slippers. This is what you will find me wearing pretty much every day. And I don't, I don't have time to think, oh, what am I going to wear today? Some days I do, and some days I make more of an effort, but I just want to be able to get up in the morning, throw on whatever it is, and, and head off and know that I'm all right, if that makes sense. I don't have time to be like, oh, does this work with this and that work with that? It's about building a wardrobe of core pieces that all work together and can interchange there's no point buying one outfit that doesn't work with anything because you're not going to get the use out of it and you probably won't find yourself reaching for it so that is something to be um you know really mindful of as well 
we're going to talk quickly about belts because I love a belt and I think actually a belt makes an outfit. It's just those little touches. And I'm often talking about it even when I'm cooking. It's just those little bits that make an outfit and actually I wouldn't feel completely put together unless I had a belt on and I adore peachy belts. I've worn them for many, many years. This is one of theirs. It's actually quite an old one, but it's an old favourite. The thing that I love the most about peachy belts is, I'm going to show you this, I'm going to show you, it's so clever. Um, you can take the buckles off, so they pop up, hang on, let me put that one down, they pop up off. And you can take the buckle off and you can change it for another buckle, which is so, so clever. So you can, you know, jazz up a belt, um, you know, just a plain belt by putting on, you know, a, a, a special buckle. And that just completely changes the look of an outfit. Now, this one is very clever because it also comes with this. Now, I know you might be thinking, Charlie, a bum bag is not fashionable. It is not cool. It is not trendy. But trust me, when you're out riding a horse and it's a warm summer's day, I know we're going into autumn, winter, but you can wear this with your jodhpurs, and I always do, um, and you can go coat free, pocket free, and it's really, really handy. And if you want to, you know, be hands free, or if you are, say, travelling, and you're in a city that's busy, that there's lots of pickpockets, Barcelona is springing to mind at the moment, you could just wear this and be, you know, pretty safe. And I would actually wear it at the front then, and I would keep my hand on it so I know that nobody could open that up and pinch a purse. So very, very versatile um, from Peach Belts. And then this is from their latest collection. It is a gold rope. Hang on buckle can you see I'm not showing it very clearly um and their python print so again really versatile I always go for the same width of belt so these are hmm, this is a 32 length um without measuring I mean it's about two inches um in width it's like their standard belt because then all of the buckles are completely interchangeable i know there's a little bit of a theme going on i do i do have a few more sparkly belts from peachy belts i'm not a massive statement belt girl um occasionally you might catch me in a statement belt but i just love i love simple i love elegant i know it's boring but that's me this is my current favourite shirt, and this is from the Oxford Shirt Company. It is a really beautiful, beautiful cotton, and I think Oxford shirts are renowned for just being, you know, beautiful, beautiful quality cotton, and the Oxford Shirt Company do not disappoint at all. <laughs> Got my tail hanging out, my collar up. I love this blue gingham one. I am wearing their classic fit in a size eight and it's absolutely perfect for me. I don't like the um, slim fit shirts and I think, again, that's probably because I'm a little bit busty. I prefer just going for the casual fit. I don't like to feel restricted in shirts. I want to be able to move. I want to be able to do everything. I don't like it when a shirt is too tight and really pulling. I mean, I'm obviously, I'm rounding and arching, but if I'm just going about my normal day, this is absolutely perfect. And again, I think it's really super with a navy blue cardigan, that navy blue roll neck sleeveless, lots of different ways to wear it. I could wear it with, um, you know, my Jules puffer. I could wear it with so many, so many ways. And I think it looks really smart with just jeans with a belt, I could wear it with my House of Bread boots if I wanted to look a little bit elevated, or I could just put it on with a pair of trainers and go about my day, dog walk, um, you know, horses, children, or pop out, or out to a meeting and still look really smart. And they're just beautiful, beautiful quality shirts, which I think are lovely um, to have. So that is my current favorite shirt. Now let's move on to, what should we do? Should we do some different trousers 
or should we do some dresses? Let's do some different trousers and then we'll move on to dresses. Actually, no, <laughs> I've changed my mind. While I'm wearing my jeans, let's stick with jeans and show you how you can completely change a look and go from literally day from this to out in the evening with literally five seconds. We've got to go out. There's been a problem. One of the horses has escaped. Uh, one of the children refused to go to bed and you are late to go out for dinner with the girls and you don't have time to properly change or even think about your outfit. That scenario is often, often what is going on in my world. So this is what I do when I do a really, really quick change. So I've just done my really, really quick change. I have popped on a pair of heels. These are Prada and just, I think, really lovely. And always, I always feel special when I wear them. So I pop those on. I haven't changed any jewellery. I'm just staying the same. And I pop this beautiful satin blouse from Oralie on, which is gorgeous and it's current. And I've got a discount code for Oralie, so I will leave that on the screen here. I also should have told you that I've got a discount code for Peachy Belts, which I will also leave on the screen here. And um, when I'm talking about belts as well, I'll pop it up there. It is Ask Charlie for your exclusive discount. And then if I was going out this time of year, it's not that cold um, in the evenings, I would just put on a wrap. I could pop a coat over the top that actually I would feel really comfy just going out looking like this. And I've only, taken moments to change which is even even better and again it's just having your clothes all working together and working for you that you can go from literally I don't know work or doing the horses to a quick blouse change change your shoes and off you go I have remembered that I've got a few other bits I'm going to share with you while I'm still wearing these jeans because I live in these jeans and I've got lots of different things that work really well that I want to share with you while we're doing um, doing this video of sort of my everyday wardrobe. You should see the mess that's going on over there. I'm not going to show you, but it's going to take me a moment to clear up when we've finished. I do wear a lot of white shirts and blouses. So I thought I really had to share a white shirt with you. And um, this one is from Lily Collection and I have purchased it recently. I probably do buy a white shirt every season. I love the cuffs and I just thought the collar was really pretty with this little frill. And again, teamed with my jeans, my belt, and then these are from Blue Velvet and they're just great shoes. And sometimes if I'm wearing trainers, I feel a bit... When I pop these shoes on, even if I'm just around the house, I feel a little bit more elegant. I feel a little bit more put together. And, um, and that makes me feel a little bit better in myself. And sometimes I can see no one all day. I can be just wearing my, my trainers. I can be wearing my slippers. And actually sometimes it's quite nice to pop proper shoes on and feel um, a little bit more elevated, even if you are sort of working from home and um, uh, yeah, around the house a lot of the time. And then this navy cardigan is new from Lily Collection. They very kindly um, sent this to me and I think it works really well with the blouse. It's a beautiful, um, I don't know what you how you describe it. Slight, slight bobble, but it's a lovely, lovely texture. It is slightly cropped, um, and I love the gold buttons. I know that I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this look, and it's just really, really easy to put on. And again, something that you just don't need to think about. But I could go and meet a friend for lunch. I could go and have a meeting. I could go up to London wearing this and I'd be quite happy to have friends over for a kitchen supper and not feel the need to change because it's just a really lovely, pretty, pretty blouse and cardigan. And I've got some trousers that I want to share with you just to show you how to really change up a look. So I'm going to pop those on now. We are saying goodbye to the jeans, I think for now. <laughs> um, they might be back with another look. I don't know, but we'll see. So these green cord wide leg trousers are from Marks and Spencers. And I do love a little bit of Marks and Spencers. They're quite high waisted, um, but I just love, I love green. 
I love cord and I just thought that actually they were quite fun. Not hugely expensive. Um, I think they're about £35 off the top of my head. I can actually tell you, no, they were £45. But I just think actually a really, really lovely trouser that I will get a lot of wear out this year. I have teamed them with my heeled cowboy ankle boots. These I've had since last time they were fashionable. And I just wanted to talk to you about these because obviously cowboy boots are back in fashion. I am not going to go out and buy cowboy boots, but actually I've kept them since the first time they were trendy, which is really handy. And I'm lucky that I've got some storage space where I can do that here in the house. But I've also got these trainers. These are from Franchetti Bond, but I bought them a few years ago. But I think these trousers would work really well with these too. I think those actually look really good with trainers as well if I wanted to go for a flat look. And just something different to wearing skinny jeans. I have to be honest, it does get a little bit boring wearing the same jeans all the time. So it's quite nice to change things up by popping these on. And I think they work really well with the navy and the white. And actually that knit from Beaufort and Blake, let's try that on with these trousers and this blouse and see how that looks. So for a slightly different look, I've just put the knit on. You could have it tucked in, you could, you know, slightly crop it up a little bit. I think that actually works really well and I feel really comfy. And so this is an outfit that I know I will reach for and wear and it's really nice. I know I've just said it, but it's really nice to be out of the jeans that I live in. And then I've just popped on this skirt with my boots and a pair of navy tights. The skirt is last season from Jules and again it's green cord and I told you I love green cord so I just think that that look works really well. It's pretty, it's feminine, I think it's elegant and just pretty timeless and I know I feel really happy to go out with this. I've just kept this knit on and just sort of slightly tucked it up. I haven't done a brilliant job of tucking it up but it's just to share with you guys. Um, but again, it would look really lovely with a cardigan or just a navy, a navy cashmere um, roll neck would work really well with this look as well. So another, you know, idea of this top half, but changing and popping on a skirt with boots. And I could also wear it with flat belly shoes. Something like that would look really elegant and just easy and easy to wear and comfortable, which I think is the most important thing. While I had my boots and tights on, I thought I'd just throw on this navy cord dress from Beaufort and Blake. This is last season. I think they've got a denim version for this season, which is um, a similar, similar style. And I mean last season as in last year's season. But a really easy dress to throw on. And I think it looks great with boots and tights. And I, I love that look of boots and tights. And I've kept on the same blouse from Lulu Collection which I think has to be probably the most versatile blouse in my wardrobe at the moment. It's really, really useful um, and just works well. It's quite a thick corduroy dress, so you can put something on, on underneath. You could wear it with a roll neck underneath. I've worn it with um, a white t-shirt with a little frill collar. Lots of different ways to wear it. You could wear it with, you know, just a vest on underneath, um, but a great look and I know that they have got a very similar style to this but in denim at the moment um, at Beaufort and Blake so I'll leave Beaufort and Blake linked down below. Now we're going to go for slightly more um, elevated everyday look with my black black leather look trousers from um, Orally which I just adore. They are fab and again I feel I just feel a little bit more they give me a bit of a spring in my step rather than feeling frumpy mum and sometimes I can feel frumpy mum. You know, I'm in that sort of age of nearly mid 40s and I don't want to be uber trendy, uber cool. I don't want to be down with the, with the young'uns, but at the same time I want to dress my age and not feel um, too frumpy and these trousers there is definitely absolutely no frump going on with them at all they are fab so let's get them on so i've just popped on the black trousers with a small black 
heel boots and I popped on the python belt from Peachy Belts and again we've got the same the same blouse on but I could wear this with my white spurgers um, obviously I couldn't wear those out in the winter but at the moment I can or I could just wear them with um, these trainers would work as well this is a um, cashmere wrap um, cardigan which I, I haven't been able to find that it's very very old it's probably gosh I bought it when the children were toddlers so <laughs> it's old um, it's 360 cashmere but um, but I've had it for a long time but if you search something like shawl shawl style cardigan or something um, you will find it just pull down my sleeves but this I think is a really really great look which I've been wearing a lot recently and I just feel a little bit trendier to be perfectly honest even with a kind of baggy cardigan and a flower a blouse with a frilly collar just popping on these trousers just makes me feel a little bit a little bit I don't know um cooler edgier <laughs> I'm not sure if the children will think oh god mummy you've completely lost the plot but I like that look um, and I think it just um, is, is fun and works really well. And then for the evening, in fact, I'm not going to do it, but you could just pop on this beautiful blouse and wear it with these trousers and, you know, a lovely black jacket, something like that to go out in the evening. Black blazer would look really, really smart. That would take you to, you know, the theatre in London or out for dinner. And again, it's just one pair of trousers really really versatile and so you can dress it up this is a blouse from Oralee with um you know the pretty pretty cuffs and the pretty frill down the front so that is a sort of slightly more elevated option for you and yet I still feel fine in the country but fine in London as well so um it's kind of the best of both worlds and a lot of the outfits I've shown you like the first shirt that I showed you from Beaufort and Blake, I wouldn't really wear that to London. Um, if I found myself in London wearing it, I'd be all right, I'd feel fine, but I wouldn't choose to wear that for London, whereas that is perfect for life down here, whereas these, um, you know, work for both. And as I'm always saying, it's really important to have versatile pieces in your wardrobe. Let's just talk quickly about knitwear before we finish. M&S has some great knitwear. Um, this is one of theirs. This is, I think, from last season, but has lasted really well. Their autograph range does cashmere, and I can highly recommend it. Their polo necks, their cardigans are just really great basics in your wardrobe. I have shared this before with you. I haven't worn it yet because the weather hasn't been cold enough, but this is from the House of Brewer. And this is their, I think they call it the Lamora range, Lamora cable roll. Um, this is in Loddon. And I, I size up to a medium in um, these because I just, I like to wear long sleeve white t-shirt underneath. And um, this is Landswool and Angora. It feels very soft. It's not itchy and it's a great, great piece. We can talk about more winter clothes um, a little bit further down the line if you'd like to let me know in the comments below if you'd you know if, if you've enjoyed uh, last week's video and this week's video and if you'd like more like this then I'm really really happy to do it and then this is a knit from Jules which is current and I like the fact that it's got a collar um, and it's got a little bit of a frill down the front and really great and versatile to wear with blazers and things like that underneath or just a long sleeve white t-shirt while we're talking about long sleeve white t-shirts i'm going to show you what i wear so i've got about five of these if i'm honest and they are just long sleeve i get them in size medium they are from h and m i treat myself to a couple of new ones each year they're just their cotton basic t-shirts i'd stock up now because midwinter you won't be able to get your hands on them they they sell out quite quickly 
but I just find them really versatile and I wear them under every jumper in the winter, every roll neck. I have got one of those on underneath and I just find them a really great um, base layer. I wear them basically like a vest and I find them really useful and um, they wash really well. They last really well and I like having a layer of cotton between my skin and and woolens and I, I've always been like that. I, I, otherwise, I, I don't know, I just, I can't do wool next to my skin. I have to have a layer of, of something in between and I just like, I like these. So anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed this week's video. Let me know um, if you'd like more along these lines um, in the comments down below and I am looking forward to seeing you on Friday with a new vlog and in the meantime thank you so much and thank you also so much for your lovely comments and your love on um, last week's vlog. I really really appreciate it. Um, I'm really grateful and thank you very very much.